Margaret Spellings was inaugurated as the 18th president of the UNC school system this morning. Security was tied at the event filled with elected officials, leaders of individual UNC universities, and the lieutenant governor of North Carolina. Carly Griffith was there and has more on the president's vision for the education in the Tar Heel State. In her speech during the inauguration ceremony, Margaret Spelling said that education should be a civil right and that everyone should raise their expectations for higher education. Margaret Spellings was met with thunderous applause as she entered Memorial Hall to set the tone of her term as president of the UNC school system. Access to education was the theme of her speech. No one in our state is denied a college education because of a lack of money. Are we keeping that historic promise? She preached inclusion and explained the power of education to an audience of hundreds of students, staff, and state officials. With 17 institutions working toward a shared mission, we have the scale and imagination to tackle any problem. The only time Spellings mentioned HB2, a divisive issue for the school system, was after the ceremony. She addressed a recent ruling by a U.S. District Court judge saying three plaintiffs are allowed to use restrooms corresponding to their gender identity on UNC campuses. The university is, is caught in the middle. I mean, we are, you know, good public servants who show up every day trying to follow state and federal laws, and we, we find ourselves uh, in a conflict here. Spellings concluded her vision for the UNC system by saying the university has a proud history, but the best is yet to be. In Chapel Hill, Carly Griffiths, CBS, North Carolina.